there and welcome to another game structure. It's time for part 7 of Spore and I am about to go into space. So you have in front of me, as you probably know by now, um, the game Spore. We are at the civilization stage. I'm just about to press the button to go and move into space. Let's have a look, shall we? So let's have a look at even revolutionary history. It's going no way through. I'll let it load up a minute. So we're about to go to space stage as a warrior. Let's just go through from the, from the beginning of this stage. So we've gone aggressive. We formed a city. We've created our own transportation and housing. We've conquered cities along the way. We have a trade route started. Uh, we're conquering more cities and destroying more and killing all these different nations. The Crimson Nation is the biggest war out, um, which we can finish. We then had a lesser formed see you later, large, being um, befriended and then destroyed, with a few more ships and a couple of creatures at the end while I was building up the arsenal to maximize the amount of spice that gets generated in the planet when I'm into galactic cruising. So here we go, we are gonna go now on to the space stage. Time to create. I'm gonna go for a box. Not often you have a box. I'm just gonna put a box. Big box like that. And then let's go for a cockpit on top. We'll put one there. Like that. Maybe a little bigger. A little taller. Now for the top, I'm gonna go and put in some sort of a bit at the top. Mm. Got to move that about a bit. I'll put you down there, like so. And we'll have a bit of a bulb, bulbous bit on it. Now, don't let me expand, or is it just size? It's going to be size. Okay. Fine, right, let's get some engines on before we go any further, shall we? So, let's get some... Okay, sonic reducer. This looks like a Dalek laser gun. Maybe that's where they've got the idea from. Okay, particle drive. I'll pop a particle drive on and I'll... Pop it in the middle like that. Let's it out. Maybe look at, make it a little bit. Now, keep it like that. And then we have a plasma jet. Great. Put that there, and then I will put that there. Lengthen that out. Expand it out a bit. There we are. Big plasma drive coming out from the. It was, but I hold on a minute. <laughs> I position it, it wasn't working. Right, okay. There we are. Right. So that's the plasma drive. Oh, no, no, no. You don't want to move the... the box. Oh, dear. Right, okay. We'll move the box back. There we are. Right. We need guns. We need weapons. So, we'll get these... space modulators out. Um... They're like Dalek eye stalks. Wonder if they did actually inspire themselves with something from Dal from Dalek culture. I wonder. Um, I'll go a cauterizer, but what we'll do is we'll shrink it in. Yeah, there we are. Stop doing that. Stay where you are. Right. Okay. There we are. Uh, right. Windows and adornments. I'm just gonna put couple of dormants in because since we seem to have that kind of adornment on the side we'll do that and do you know what we'll put some space wings of some sort on as well 
put a jet sitter wing on like that as well. There we are. So there's my spaceship. Let's go and do the colour. So I'm not going to go for the greens this time. I'm going to go for an orange, I think. And then we'll do yellow. No, we'll keep that. And then the wings and sails go yellow. And the details go yellow. There we are. There's only one other thing I want to do, and that's change the window colour to white. There we are. We have our spaceship. Now, what am I going to call it? Starship ISIL? Might as well, since the first city, uh, since the city building was called ISIL, might as well call it Starship ISIL. NCC 1083. <laughs> I'm not going to put that bit in. But, um, yes, here we go. Right, so we're getting to the space stage. We're just waiting at pro process now and go through. There it is. There's our ship. Lift off, you've successfully developed a ship capable of space flight. The heavens beckon and the cosmos awaits. The universe is at your fingertips if you can learn to fly this thing. <laughs> okay, well let's see if we can. Welcome to the pinnacle of resistance from the final frontier, the wildest world's west, space. You can control the ship and from this vantage lead your race from planet-bound civilization to a vast galactic empire. <laughs> Let's look at how you progress. This bar tracks your progress towards the badges you earn, as well as the proximity to the centre of the galaxy. So there's the badges bit there, and there's proximity to the centre. A mission control on the planet's surface is anxious to speak to you. Let's learn how to communicate. Okay, this short range video communicator is your contact to those in the world below. You must be in the planet's orbit to open the line. A flashing signal means you have an incoming transmission. Here we are. Congratulations, Cadet. You've got a fine ride there. We're still adding new equipment to your ship, but we should have it ready for space travel in new no time. Have you flown a spaceship before? No? Hmm. Well, nothing like a test flight. While the entire population of the sea later planet Natoria looks on. Natora looks on. What do you say? Ready to earn your captain's badge? Yes, we'll do that. We'll go through that. I've done it before, but let's do it for your enjoyment. So I've played this before, but you haven't, so I'm doing it. As you would see it. Okay. We well, might have played it before, but I don't know. But I'm playing it like you haven't. That's the spirit. Each city in your planet, Natora, has launched a giant orb in the celebration of our first spaceship. Really, you can't miss them. Take your ship and spin around the planet, seven other cities. Fly through the orbs to break them. Once you're finished, we'll give you further instructions. Good luck and try not to scratch the paint. Your immediate mission goal is tracked here in the mini mission log. You can track up to three missions in mini form. Open the full mission log by hitting the L key at any time. Okay, use the right our mouse button to use the key or use the arrow keys to fly your spaceship. Okay, use your mouse wheel or the plus and minus keys to change your spaceship's height. Okay. Actually not a bad we control that. Oh, missed it. Missed it, there we are. Boom. One more. Yay! Done it. Okay. Good job, cadet. With that flying like that, you'll make captain no time. So what do you want me to do next? Now you're ace at flying, we're ready for you to use some of the sophisticated tools we've invented for your spaceship. Be working on the ability to scan the plants and animals you discover on your channel, or on your travels. Channels? Travels. Looks like this tool comes in just in the nick of time. The Sporopedia record of one of our own animals recently became corrupted at the same time the animal started exhibiting some odd symptoms. We need you to scan the animal so we can collect more information about the species. Okay, I'm in. The creature in question is exhibiting an odd glowing trail. Your ship has been equipped with a radar tool, which can be turned off and on 
in the main tools panel. It will point to the mission targets and items of interest when on the planet's surface. The radar beeps faster when you're closer to your target. Select the scan tool from your main controls panel. And that's there, sorted by type. The scan tool is found in the main tools panel. Equip your scan tool by clicking on it. Okay, when it's active, it's showing up there. To deactivate the tool, press the escape key. Okay. Let's see where they're going. There we are. A new creature, a large animal, has been scanned in Antisporopedia. Okay. Excellent. That's scientists are eager to analyse the data. So what do you want me to do next? At Zooks, the information collected by scanning was quite valuable. It's now clear to us that we need to examine the species more closely. Your ship is equipped with a duction beam, which you'll find on your cargo panel. Use this tool to collect a specimen and return it to us. Which is there. Use the duction beam found the cargo panel to collect the creature for further research. Make sure you deploy the tool long enough until the creature is fully secured in the ship's cargo bay. Stopping the ray too soon before your cargo is secured may result in less than desirable circumstances for the victim. Uh, I mean specimen. Okay. So that's the abduction button there. Okay. There we are. Looks like you're collected the correct specimen. We'll need you to drop it off inside one of our cities. Select the cargo you want to drop off in the cargo panel and drop it off in the city. Make sure you beam it safely to surface or we'll need you to collect another specimen and clean up your mess. Okay, well, let's fly over to the city. Move on just a little bit. Whoops, no, don't want to collapse on. Well, that didn't work. That's better. There we are. Done. Let's scan off the other two while we're here. We have another creature. There. Okay. So, measurably fine work cadet, you provided an excellent specimen to research. Probe twice, a duck once, I always say. So, what do you want me to do next? It appears that the specimen you collected was sick and is infected with a virus that's capable of spreading at an alarming rate. It could endanger our entire ecosystem. Of course, we want to handle this compassionately. We've equipped your spaceship with an extremely handy mini laser. It has the precision you'll need to take out the infected creatures while avoiding the healthy creatures. Okay, I'm in. Select the mini laser in your weapons panel and aim it at the infected creatures. Be careful when you point that laser, it's capable of destroying buildings, vehicles and other spaceships. Now go before the infection spreads further. Okay. Hiding the trees, aren't you? Yeah. Very easy to get that way above. Dead and wonderful job. You're the right stuff. You've earned your home world's respect and confidence. We want to pilot the spaceship and lead our race forward into the galaxy of galactic exploration and glory. You've earned the badge and title of captain. Our scientists developed an interplanetary drive for your ship. But you'll need to install it first, Captain. Sounds good, I'm ready. Trade panel. So this is where I buy stuff throughout my whole adventures here. So I'll just buy that for 10,000 small bucks. Done. Captain, get out your spandex suit. We'll send you on a space journey. We suspect we're not alone in this galaxy. We picked up strange radio signals from the planet Carcycon in orbit around our home star. We want you to investigate, I accept. We commend you, Captain. Mission Control out. The first badge has been earned. A Captain's Badge. Okay. So this is the my collections bit with the badges and Mission Control. Okay. All the abilities and tools. So weapons. 
proton missile as well. I haven't got that yet. Okay. Tools. So we've got scanner. Hologram scout. Planet scan. Okay. Spaceship abilities. Touching up, touching down. SETI, which is intelligent life. Enter planetary drive. Got a basic drive. Basic health. And then there's an interstellar drive, which we'll do in a minute. Okay. Let's go out of the solar system, shall we? Take off the laser. So, the other planet I'm looking for is that one. Krasikon. Going up on the ship's radar. Ooh, what's this? Okay. It's a crash spacecraft and it's emitting a strange radio signal. Fly to it and use the scan tool to investigate the crash site. Okay. Scan. It's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Aliens with no signs of life. Looks like they drew some type of cryptic map before they died. Wait, the wreck has triggered a transfer beam. Some items are coming aboard. Missiles and interstellar drive, which which seems you have an, an unknown star's coordinates programmed into it. The wreck's damage looks like it came from a fight. This ship must have been sent from another planet to get help. Okay, well let's go and have a look. Scroll out with the mouse wheel. So this is our solar system. Stellar drive from the wreck is responding to a beacon from a nearby star that matches the coordinates in its memory. This must be the home planet, they may still be needing help. Okay. Before we do that though, let's just come out of this. Well, this little arm here of the galaxy. It's possible to jump it, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it could be possible to jump the arm, I don't know. Anyway, that is the milk, that is our galaxy that we've got to explore. Ideally, I think you want to go to the center based on what they've just read there. But first of all, let's go back to the next planet. Garbit, you want to go to. So you want to go to Icard, that star. Fly over to it. Garbit. There's something more, something showing up on the ship's radar. Too late. These ruins must be what's left the home colony of the aliens from the wreck. Scan the ruins may reveal clues to what's happened here. Okay. Scan came up with nothing, but it seems to trigger the response. Some activity is showing up on the radar. Uh oh. The scan was triggered. The colony's defenses drones don't look friendly. Wait an incoming transmission. But a ship. Warning: Grox intruders detected. Grox. All Grox intruders will be terminated. Grox. Initialising self defense code Grox999. All Grox intruders will be terminated. We are not Grox. Warning all Grox intruders will be terminated. For the last time, we are not Grox. We are not Grox. Here they come. I've got a missile as well. So just use that. 
Wings are more effective? Yes, it is. Well, Say, what's this? Is that an earlier version of the tournament? Yes, it is. Interesting. Oh, not autonomous. See you later. That's a little silly. Your SETI device would be saved radio signal sign from the star plan to explore. Of course it would be. It's my home world solar system. It's a bit silly. There we are. And we've got spice. Lovely spice. See you later. Here we go. Mission accomplished. We knew you weren't alone in the galaxy. Traces of extinct civilization, hostile security drones, and the Groks. It's a blur that must continue exploration of the galaxy and potentially prepare for hostilities. In order to do so, we'll need to set up colonies as bases of operation. Our scientists are already reverse engineering the interstellar drive to replicate its technology. We've also developed a SETI device for your ship. It will pick up signals of other sentient, sentient, sentient life in the galaxy. Sentient life in the galaxy. I can't say it. Indicated by radio signals over the stars that you target. We need you at the helm of our space program, Captain. I'm in. We need you to expand our empire and our wealth by building colonies on other planets for mining resources. We've drafted a few volunteers to be part of the colony and credit pack, which we placed in your colonization bin. Our astronomers have been observing the heavens and identified their hospitable planet, Jersesis. Okay, how do I establish the colony? Excellent. Placing a colony is easy. After flying to the planet Jersesis, select the colony tool that's been added to your colonization tool bin and place the colony in land near a spice geezer. It will instantly unpack, create a colony, no assembly required. Uh, a pack there, I will unpack safely. Okay, let's have a look. Totally, I'm just the dude for the door job. Of course I am. It's only me. Okay, so you've got the filters there, you've got star maps, you've got mission filter. So, allies and enemies, and enemies? Any enemies? Uh, travel trail, we'll put in there. No, we'll just put visited actually. We'll just put visited. Hogimas, here we go. star system. Planets in green orbit paths are easy to terraform and colonise than planets on red or blue orbit paths. Okay. It's possible to colonise all of them. There it is. Just says. Still can't say it right. Some of these names I'm really going to struggle to say. Here we are. Colonies can be established in any planet from Baron Moose to Lush Terrace Score 3 Oasis. Fruitful colonies mine spice that could be traded. Let's find a space for this. That looks good. Let's pop in the colony here then, shall we? Close to spice. Boom. First colony. You've grown your empire. Each colony's productivity is tied to its size. Size is limited by the terra score of the planet. Invest in terraforming, then add colonies and buildings to reap the highest rewards. Okay, well, let's. While we're here, let's just say hello. Good to hear, Captain. The colony's authorization appears to become one of the planet Jurassic. Feel free to add builders and increase our productivity. Congratulations, empire grown and prosper. So we'll repair. It's costing a little bit. Trade. That's how much it costs. Missions? No, to give Jess's colony helping hand, Captain. Let's see what we have. Yes, Captain. There is a little something we need your help with if you have some time. We'll of course reimburse you for your efforts. I'd like to hear more. All the Epini on our exobiology museum died for an unknown cause. Can you replace them? Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Wonderful, we had a feeling you set this mission. Just seemed like something you'd be into. A natural play for your efforts in the amount of 15,000 spore bucks. You will have a six minute sections on the planet Wolf Machis to complete the assignment. Before I go, okay, I'll guess I'll see you again then. Let's go to the planet that's in that star system. No, it's not. Oh, 
Where is it? Hmm. Kamexlion system. Where is it? There it is. Something sharp up on the ship's radar. Color spice geezer. You've discovered a wild planet, plenty of creatures available to propagate life on other planets. Wild plants also bump spice and can support colonies. Yes, it's the yellow one. Ooh. That's the plant I want. Is it that? Yes, it is. So, a PV plant I want is the tree thing. back down so I need the one. There we are. Welcome back Captain. The plant called the Peony has arrived in good shape. Excellent work. We have 15,000 spool box for your efforts. Okay. I can ask you something else. Right, recharge and say goodbye. I'm going to go back to the home world now. Once again, excellent work, Captain Ampel will one day dominate the galaxy. Captain, you to visit this colony for frequently to collect spice it produces. Our scientists are busy researching new technologies to improve the telescopes of planets, which will one day help improve the conditions of the new colony planet. In the meantime, there are more pressing matters to attend to. Are you ready to continue? Of course I am. Captain, we've entered into transmissions that believe coming from advanced be other beings in other advanced beings in the galaxy. We need to investigate and attempt to establish first contact. Use the SETI tool equipped in your ship to help find them. Will you accept this most important mission? Of course I will. How will I speak to them? Your short term communicator is equipped with a universal translator. That way you can communicate with other any alien races you might encounter. You need to travel within the solar system to communicate with them. Okay. We haven't been able to pinpoint the exact location of these transmissions, so you'll need to explore a bit. After reaching the interstellar space, target stars that trigger response from the SETI tool, radio lines and audio signals are a clear indication. How will I know when to come back? Space flight will cause wear and tear on your ship. Return home for repairing your charging ship will needed, or check in with mission control on, on other space program assignments. I think I've got it. We await your report once you establish contact with aliens. Good luck in your search. Okay. Well, when I was doing that little mission for the... The others, I saw that I, at uh, Gagrachan. So I'm going to go to Gagrachan. I'm going to go and say hello. Okay, so Clasian was right. A living alien race. We aren't alone. Looks like set an envoy to greet you. Perhaps you talk to them. Open your communications panel. Your shape is unfamiliar, friend, but what are you known? Now. I am from the see you later. I come in peace. Behold, I'm from the great and mighty planet of Natora. I'll call for your fighter before a blast of peace that pieces. Now, I think it's probably the middle one's best for that. Boastfulness is a characteristic of the spirituality unevolved. Not as small as you think, but let's continue. Okay. We'll recharge, we'll trade, see what comes out. Oh look! A credit pack! I'm not gonna buy that just now, because I'm gonna go back to the home world and just build up some money through missions at the moment. Okay, I know about the star maps, so let's just go back to the the home world. And say we've made contact. Collect a spice, spice of value, command to collect from colleagues in the home world each time you receive a return to visit them. The download from your data recorder is quite amazing, Captain. We've had no idea space for other space fairs, fairing civilizations are so close by. Well, you are the way to establishing our place in the galactic community. Probably a good idea to forge a good relationship with this race. We need many need an ally in the future. Taking assignments from the Republic keep us in good graces. They may also be interested in trade, which would be a great boost to our empire's wealth. Are you ready to take on more missions? Why not? Our species has been producing spice mythical maps resulting in surplus. We need to look for potential buyers among space value empires to help boost our wealth. 
Add spice to what you've collected from a home world by visiting colony. Spice will be automatically auto loaded on into your spaceship's cargo bin. Find another empire who's interested in purchasing spice by travelling to one of the planets and hail them with your short range video communicator. Using the trade option, you can see how they much they are willing to pay for your spice and decide if it's a fair price. From there, you can decide if you want to sell it or not. Once you trade a per trade partner, you can also buy some of the spice and sell it to our empire for a higher price. Sounds lucrative, I'm in. Excellent, you'll be rolling dull in no time. Try to find an empire offering you best deal and watch out for the ones who might try to lowball you. Okay, I'm off to make a deal. Oh, I've got a badge. Small energy storage, energy pack, drought generation, atmosphere generator. Ah, oh, brilliant. Okay. Can I buy any of this? Let's have a look. Right, I can't buy any of that at the moment. I can buy the energy packs, though. Fairly low cut at the moment, so I won't need long distance energy packs or anything just now. I will need them later, I'm sure. But we'll just go back to the other planet first. Let's see if there's any others, or if it's just them in one planet. It looks like it's just them one planet. Okay. What's this? What do we have here? Unusual scan pattern detected on this planet. Flying close and explore. What's this? Ooh. Ship's radar is an option of interest on this planet. Ooh. This galaxy is filled with red objects, statues and fossils. One of these unique collectibles is right here. Adopt it and sell it for big spore box. We'll try to collect an entire set and demand even more value. Okay. And a Quimby from the collection of 10 rare statues. Well, I was going to go to the Lilio Empire actually and just say hello. Star stuff, even Captain. Charge trade. Now, just to do the mission, I'm going to sell one. Not the best price, but it does prove the mission. Good job of keeping the coffers of a treasure they fall allows you to purchase more tools for your spaceship, pay for your repairs and recharging, build up more colonies as well as send contributions to other pen empires to help build relationships. We have plenty more missions to take you, for you to take on if you so choose. Well wow, let's just go on a mission mission situation here in this video and just expand out that way and see all the possibilities for spore. Prior to the Jumpstart Space Exploration Program to explore more galaxy, we know there are aliens out there to make contact with, we know there are more solar systems and planets waiting to be discovered. We begin to outgrow the home of Natora, we should definitely see about finding other suitable planets to colonise. There's so much to do, we're ready to set a mission. So we've got three choices and they're nothing for now. I want to explore the universe, I want to expand our empire, I want to interact with other ra alien races, I want to explore the universe. The galaxy is vast, there's much to explore. There are undiscovered planets, new life forms, and other sentient species out there are just waiting for you to find them. Fly to as many different planets as you can. During your journeys, you will encounter different animals, strange planets, different civilizations, and discover secrets. As you move forward with your exploration, you will learn you will earn badges that will unlock new tools for you to purchase. These tools will aid you in adventures. Okay. Let's hunt for artifacts. There are plenty of interesting collectibles spread throughout the galaxy, waiting to be discovered and collected. These artifacts are often rare and can be parts of a valuable collection or potentially sold to other empires. In addition to this precious object, we also compensate your search with 5,000 Starbucks. How can I find it? You travel around the galaxy to various solar systems in order to uncover the location of rare items. When you enter the solar system, mouse over the various planets and planet shows a yellow signal. That planet has an rare item on it. Once you're on the planet's surface, your radar tool will point you to the rare, rare if you're close enough. Okay. Once you're located the rare objects upon its surface, use your protection call to secure the rare cargo in your bin. Once you've secured the rare, bring it back to us. I've already done that actually. Okay. There we are. Look, straight away. Boom. 
Congratulations, you can now say your red item will place at one of your colonies in the trophy. You're most welcome before I go. Okay. Alright. So have they taken it? No, they haven't. Now, just says is barren. Maybe need to do a bit of terraforming of it. Now, if I press this, you'll see here there is a bit here about the terraforming. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize it did that. Ooh, okay. You'll see there there's, there's the terra scores and the different atmospheres. There's no atmosphere, dense atmosphere, low temperature, cold temperature. You want to be in the middle. You want in the target to be just right. So, I think I will go back to... See you later. And I will get an atmosphere generator. Ah, I can't afford it with this one. Wonder if our new friends will be able to help us. Let's see. Trade. Yes, we can. Atmosphere generator. One of them. Let's buy it. And we will bump up the atmosphere. Let's develop a colony a bit more here, shall we? So there we are. Atmosphere generator. I'm just going to pop it on the ground. See what it does. It wants one that increases the atmosphere. So we'll see what it does. See if it improves everything. I don't know if we did it enough. We've not quite got there. Oh, we have! Congratulations, you proved the T scores plant. Notice, I noticed a T1 plant can support life. Place plants from cargo hold in free size, sizes to increase the stability of the T score. If you don't lose quickly, plant ski T score levels will drop. Alright, well, I better go and get some animals then. So, let's do that. I need some trees. Take a tree, take one of those plants, there's a smaller one there, okay, there we are, one of each, that's all I need to stabilise it, we'll just put these down, one, two, there we are. You stabilise the atmosphere and the temperature. Notice the plants you have placed have been added to the food web grid. This plant is now ready for animal life. Place herbivores and carnivores in that order to complete the food web. Let's see. Animal life there. No. Oh, look, look. Here we are. It wasn't a tree I wanted, it was a creature. There we are. Down. I don't need a tree. I do need one of the creatures. I don't need both. Right. Okay. That's one creature. We can find another now. Oh, there's another one. Is that an, oh, that's a smaller version of the Urquan. I see. Interesting noise they make normally. A carnivore now. Let's use the scan, the radar. Oh, the Urquan and the kind of carnivore, okay. I 
E. Yeah, I know why you're scared. There we are. Over to the other planet. Let's stabilize the T-score of Jersey's and have a fully habitable planet. Now, where am I going to put these creatures? I'll put them when I can see them, I think. Right. Moscow life down. There's that one down. And then the other clan. You completed a row of the ecosystem. If you place a colony on this planet, you can now add buildings to it by clicking on the city hall. To add more colonies, improve the T-score and complete the food web. To track an animal using radar, click on its dot in the food web. Let's go to the colony then. There we are. Right. So we can now add buildings. Vehicles. I've got prey structure or force structure. Let's do force structure. And then plane fly structure. There we are. It's entertainment, but I do not have enough money for a factory. Oh. That could be a problem. We have to do some more missions. Okay, well let's go to just says and do a mission that from there, shall we? And see what they have to offer. Creature Rhinengo is excellent to dominate vermin. We're thinking of introducing it to our biome, but we need to study it first. Can you bring us a specimen? Okay. Planet Garbit. Okay. Let's have a look. That's what they wanted. Rhinengo, here we are. Before I go anywhere, Garbit seems to have, or its neighbouring planet seems to have something on the surface. And we might have another rare here. We do. One eyed kippy from a collection of the rare, ten rare statues. Is that from the same collection? It is. Ooh, okay. It's a blue planet, it's blue spice as well. That could be fruitful. <laughs> Captain, the rare Nino Guerrero has been in the right position. Here are your 1500 spore box. Oh no, hold on a minute, I've, got, I've now got enough to put an extra bit in the colony now, haven't I? Put the factory and it can start giving me spice. No, not quite. Oh, expensive. And it was on the planet, on the home planet. Ten times more expensive, I'm sure it was about a third of the, uh, tenth of that before. Oh, they've expanded too, where have they gone to? It's yellow. Oh, that'll be interesting, let's have a look. They've gone to Wolf Macus. Okay, well let's have let's say hello to them. Starship I saw requesting permission to orbit. Trade. No, it doesn't cost that much. It doesn't cost any more. It's the same. Hmm. Oh well. There was another civilization that was looking to that would have taken the red stuff. I wonder. Oh, I've got a badge. What's this? I increased. Congratulations, you're now bestowed with the title of Commander. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Now, I'm sure I sensed another planet. Yes, I did. There we are. Look, incoming transmission from the Jukoku Empire. Our Grand Council wel welcomes you to the sector. Okay. Let's have a look and get a bit more acquainted. Before I do that, though, I'm going to quickly check this 
here. A unique planet. Ships are uh, scattered that are unlike any before. Ooh. Artistry thing. A sculpting tool. Yay. Grape flavoured sky. Interesting. Right, there's the other planet. Why are they on that one and not that one? That's weird. Okay. Your shop is not on your data records. What is your identification and registration information? Behold, I am from the great and mighty planet Natora. Most of all, is a quality unsuited to a diplomat. Okay, let's trade. Oh, look, more money for it. And energy is cheaper. Well, let's sell some of the spice. Different colour. There we are, a bit more money. I can't be the only planet they have, it isn't. I can't say, they, they colonised on a planet that doesn't have any Terra score. And I thought the Terra score was a way of ensuring great stuff. <laughs> Spice. But they do have the second interstellar drive. Right, travel range. Okay, well, that's two empires I've visited now. Back to our own. I now have enough to expand Jersey's out as a colony. With defences as well, I hope. We'll see. We'll see. Let's have a look. Let's get the work going here. Put it there. Put it there. It will still work. Now, this is called Holber, but I'm going to do something really strange. I'm going to number the colonies as I go along. So this is Colony 1. That's now creating spice. And so is Jessus. Brilliant. Okay. So we've started Spore. And we're going to move in and work more as time goes on. I'm going to save this now. And leave part 7 with the very early start of the Space Faring Empire. This could last for hours. This could last for weeks. Um, we'll leave it for now, I think. Thank you very much for watching, as always. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it. Um, if you do share it, please share it with the hashtag TeamStructor. Want to build up that community. And if you like what you see, you want to comment about it, your more thoughts and memories to spore, don't forget to comment down below and um, a new video is out every Sunday at 4pm GMT, not necessarily Gabe's Doctor. Um, next time is Doctor Who related video if this comes out the right week, <laughs> it should do. Um, but hit that subscribe button if you want to find out when the next video comes out. As I say, it should be 4 o'clock, 4pm um, GMT every Sunday, but there might be extra videos during the week, so stay tuned for that. And hit the notifications bell as well, so you know when those extra videos come out, as well as the 4 o'clock release on a Sunday. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.